Good evening, everybody. If you recall last time, we uh, installed... We followed this guide right here, this amazing guide, which I will put in the description below, to install uh, TensorFlow GPU, including CUDA and uh, CUDNN um, on Ubuntu. Uh, the very first thing we had to do was blacklist the Nuvo driver so that we, we ended up with the proper driver. I'm not convinced we have to do this, so we're going to try. We're going to try and install it on... Arch Linux without that. So, in Arch Linux, the way you install stuff is with Pac-Man instead of apt or aptitude on Arch. Do we want to update any of that? We don't care. That's not fancy enough. Um, you can search for stuff using the dash s, lowercase s. The capital S is for sync, which means install. And the lowercase s is for search. So we're going to search for NVIDIA. Looks like they got NVIDIA. So let's install it. Does that do it? That does it. 4.18. That's actually the same driver as we had installed in Ubuntu, so that's a good sign. Um, the I'm not going to follow this guide for Arch because I just want to see if the old way I used to do it works. So there's this website called archives.archlinux.org. That is not... Is it just archive? Okay, we don't care. Yes! So Archive is this really cool aspect of Arch Linux where you can go find old packages. Um, we, in the previous tutorial, we didn't try and do this on Ubuntu because I had myself tried to do it previously and it was impossible. It was a nightmare. Uh, so what are we looking for? We're looking for Ku, C-U-D-A. Kuda and Kuden. I'm pretty sure this is a nightmare too though, so we want 7.052. This is what I have installed on my computer right now. I don't know if it'll work. Let's find out. If it doesn't, we will do the mini conda method because we've seen before that that works really well. I also have 7. Point, or sorry, 9. Point, 9. Point this one. And, uh, okay, it's going to take six hours to download. <laughs> Why is it so slow? How do I show my show all? Uh, it's quite slow. So we'll be back when this is done downloading. Okay, folks, they're downloaded. So let's see if this misadventure can continue. We're going to CD into downloads. Uh, so there are packages. To install packages that you've downloaded not through the package manager but independently from archive or elsewhere if you're if you're a nut, uh, you type U not not S. U is for update but for some reason that also installs package. <laughs> Don't ask questions. Aha! Do you want to skip the above? Oh, I remember this. So uh, you actually, you can't do dependencies because obviously this is an old package. So you need to do DD. DD stands for don't do it. <laughs> it installs the packages without looking at their dependencies. Uh, normally Pac-Man's dependency management is really, really good. But in this particular case, we're going to bypass it because we are nuts. Um, incidentally, you're going to want to uh, prevent Pac-Man from updating pacman.conf from updating um, the packages once you've installed them because again TensorFlow it's always behind like the CUDA and the CUDNN I think we're up to 10 something now but TensorFlow doesn't play nice with them and it's just not worth it so you just prevent it from updating and the way you do that is you go into pacman.conf uh, there's an, an ignore package section you're going to uncomment that you have to do this as root. Okay, what's going on? Go over there. And you just can type CUDA and kudu right there, just like that. Okay, nothing to it. Save that stuff, and now every time you update your package with um, Pac-Man SYU, it uh, will ignore those packages. It is terrifically slow to install. Um, yeah. What else happens? What else do I like about Pac-Man? Really, to be perfectly honest, what I like about 
where, about uh, Arch Linux and Antergos and all these Arch Linux based distros is that they're pretty quick. <laughs> there's not there's not a whole not a whole lot of goofing around. You can break stuff with uh, Pac-Man, like I'm currently doing. The UDD, by the way, will break things. It it may not even work here in this particular situation. So you got to be you got to be careful. Okay, so now we're installing CUDNN. We already did CUDA, so now the CUDA, CUDNN. Uh, I don't actually know entirely what are in these libraries, but they're all of uh, NVIDIA's fancy uh, machine learning. I think it's all matrix math. It's a bunch of fancy libraries. Okay, they're installed. So what else do we need? We need to install Python 3.6. How do we do that? We'll be able to find it here. Um, so in Python, sorry, in, in uh, Arch Linux, there's a package called Yay, which is a package manager for the AUR, which stands for Arch User Repo, and it's user maintained packages. They're uh, not vetted by the Arch Linux guys, so you know, use at your own risk because anybody can submit packages to the AUR. Um, yay works just like Pac-Man. You still do the same sort of thing. And you can install stuff like Python 3.6, even though it's out of date. No, you can't. I, li I lied. <laughs> there we go. That's going to do it. Yeah, so Python 3.6. So we can install it like that. I think this might try to install it, though. So it might be slow. So we're going to try um, Python... Three, six. Remember, S, capital S stands for sync. Oh, yeah, you don't run them as root. That's a great. You don't run them as root because they're submitted by users, so you uh, want to be careful. Remove dependencies after install. Uh, disk to show. None. Yes, install those. But unfortunately, now it's going to try and compile Python. I'm not sure how long this takes hopefully not too long uh, in the meantime let's race it by trying to download the already compiled package right that's how we roll around here it'll be in P can you guys see I always forget to zoom in on the screen apologies to anyone who's trying to read what I'm doing on a lower resolution screen yeah look at that Did I even start recording? That's the real question. I did. Uh, Python. Again, we need Python 3.6 because of TensorFlow. Yeah, here we go. Python 3.6. We might as well get the newest version of 3.6. Thirty-eight megabytes. Twenty-seven seconds left. Oh, it's a race. Uh, we'll be back when this stuff's done, guys. Give me a sec. Okay, so the Python three point six package downloaded first. So let's try and install that. I have aborted the compilation of Python three point six. If the download doesn't work, that's why. Apologies for the sound effects, guys. I hope they don't get picked up on the recording. If they do. I'm sorry to everyone's ears who exploded. We are going to try and install Python. Um, yeah, looks like that's going to work. So this worked, but you're not going to want to do it this way. Uh, see, Python 3.6. The reason you're not going to want to do it this way is because uh, you're going to want to, I mean, most people want to get the newest version of Python installed. So if you use the yay package, the AUR package, it will install alongside Python 3.7, I believe. Uh, and if not, truly, the we've already seen the um, Conda, mini Conda, works incredibly well. You can just do that. Uh, but I still want to see if this works. Okay, so we got Python 3.6. We've installed all the packages. So we should probably reboot. So we we'll be right back after we reboot. But first, I want to turn off the freaking sound effects. All right, 
Welcome back. We've installed everything necessary, and we're gonna proceed forward like we know what we're doing. Uh, first thing, this is this is. I mean, if this worked, oh, let's check Nvidia SMI. That's a good way to check. That's a driver. If you ask me, it's probably working. <laughs> I really hope it works. I gotta make dinner. Um, so here we go. We're going to you know the you know the rule. We're gonna we're gonna make some. What are we doing? <laughs> make the IR tutorials. Right. That's how we do it. We're gonna go Python. Oh, which Python? 3.6 mvenv tutorials. We'll let that run. Ooh, you guys probably don't want to watch an infinite number of things, do you? Let's zoom in also. Right at the end of the tutorial series, I'm gonna to learn to do this. Um, okay, we're gonna CD into tutorials. We are going to, so in tutorials, as you guys may or may not know, there's a folder called bin. Inside bin, there's a file called activate. We're going to source that. Boom. There you go. It says tutorials, just like with Conda, which I now realize is easier than this, which is tragic. <laughs> My methods are out of date. We're going to install TensorFlow, GPU, uh, stable baselines. Why not? And what else? TensorFlow GPU base, stable baselines. Jim Retro. Look at that. Chugger. Oh yeah. <laughs> My fiance is on her way home, and uh, I'm home first. So that means I get to make dinner. So I'm doing this instead of making dinner. We will see how that goes over. Wow, TensorFlow is 345 megabytes. Oop, that's the wrong version of TensorFlow. Immediate cancel. Cancel! Um, we saw earlier that 1.212 worked, right? So let's use that. Let's use that. Come in. How big is this one? 281. Wow. They added a lot in that amount of time. They're at uh, TensorFlow 2.0 now. I... Um, don't actually use TensorFlow directly. I always use Keras or um, PyTorch. So uh, I don't really know. The old stuff uh, was extremely confusing. I, I didn't like it at all. Keras is fantastic, though. If you want an introductory language for machine learning, Keras is just magnificent. Uh, PyTorch is cool, too. It's based on Torch, which was originally written in Lua which is the language that I had to learn to use Seth Bling's Mary I.O., which is the thing that got me into all of this, guys. So shout out to uh, Seth, Seth Bling. He's the, he's the real hero. He's a task player. To, uh, no, he's not task. Excuse me. He's a speedrunner. And I think uh, if you watch him on YouTube, he has some crazy stuff. Like he successfully hacked um, Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario World uh, live with inputs from the controller by uh, glitching it out in such a way that you can uh, it's insanity it's utter insanity you can you can jump right to the end of the game with the uh, a sequence of um button presses it's marvelous and the, i don't know the, okay oh yeah mpi hey guys remember mpi <laughs> what was the move for this again 2.0 mpi 4 pi equals 2.0.0. I believe that's what it was. Nope. Hey, look at that. It worked. So you have to install the package Python MP. What was it called? What's it called? Python MPI 4 Pi. That's what you got to install first. Uh, unfortunately, that's just the way she goes. Again, <laughs> we have no way to prove that this is going to work. So let's let's get back to what we were doing, which was this. Again, if this doesn't work, um, I'm just going to recommend everyone use the mini. Con In fact, you know what? Use the mini conda method because it's it seems to be extremely simple. You just install, you blacklist Nouveau, install the drivers, install Miniconda, and then you just start installing the uh, CUDA toolkit and the CUDNN and TensorFlow GPO, and you're good to go. It's really very good. 
Um, okay, that's all installed. So we're going to run Python 3.6. We're going to import TensorFlow GPU. Nope, don't do that. Just as TF. So if you've only installed TensorFlow GPU, oh, look at that. It's working. <laughs> that's great. Okay, let's not do this. Let's just go straight into running the standard line that I can never remember the name of, the session equals tf.session, config equals tf, config, proto, log. <laughs> I don't know why I can't remember it. Log device placement. It's because it's stupid. Equals true. And OK, I, I, for some reason, I can't type up on this thing, so I have to recopy it every time. It's fun. This is exciting. Okay, search equals tf dot session config equals tf dot config proto log underscore device placement equals true, and it works. Our GPU is working, so we successfully set it up on Arch Linux uh, using the old method, which is good to know because it was literally impossible on Ubuntu. That said, the Mini Conda way is actually faster, so just do that. Just everybody use Mini Conda. Unless they're owned by Microsoft or Google or something, then don't, because nuts to those children.